Okie dokie. Tubes are rolling. Hang up the phone. Microphone condom on. Right on the set. Zoom Room Video, sponsored by the VMC. All right, all right. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB, Radio Free Britannia. As the Oracle foretold, two idiots who would misinterpret the news so you don't have to. Live from Deltona, Florida, the Avatars themselves, Jack and Laz. Everybody, this is Les, and that's Jack. That's right. Jack is going to be joining us a little bit late because Jack is on a phone call, and we're going to get to watch Jack, uh, yeah, facepalm like he's doing right now uh, as uh, as we get started for today. So, uh, yes. Uh, you had it loaded on an old stream? How did you manage to do that? I don't know. But uh, a couple technical difficulties this morning, but welcome to today's show. It is Whacked Out Wednesday. It is February 3rd, right here inside and outside Trout and the Avatar. And uh, had a little trouble loading in the game. Got started this morning, loaded up the game, and started doing a couple other things. Went to go back to the game, and I said, well, where the hell's my game? What the hell happened? So I loaded up again and got myself a big old error. Waldo! Thank you. Love you, man. 100 biddies getting started out. Whacked out Wednesday. And uh, found out there was a corrupted file. So if anybody is uh, having any problems through Steam or whatever, you can always get that file updated through Steam. And uh, also, we had a marbles update. So we're going to have to go check some marbles and see what's new in the marbles store. And what we've got for, I guess we've got Season 21. Let's throw that up on screen real quick for any of you fans who are uh, getting the Seasons Pass. And uh, that's going to come with the Deep Spiral skin, the Season 21. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Sound. And... Uh, a hundred coins. Oh, do we get to pick a color or no? It just comes green. There we go. That's how you make that marble spin. So, season 21 is out there. If anybody is going to get their new marble stuff updated, I'll probably do mine here shortly. Uh, but uh, I figured for anybody out there who is interested, we would go ahead and uh, let you know that it's out there. Let's go ahead and get that stopped right there. 
Okay, let's see. Put a little voice noise gate on here, so hopefully you guys uh, don't hear all this. Let's see. Uh, still coming through a bit. I'm trying to make it so that uh, you guys don't have to hear that all the time. But we've got updates. We've got news. We've got chatter. We've got face palms and more. Today's show right here on NBNN. As well as a new sponsor to talk about in a little while. So we'll let you know about all that. And more coming up soon. But uh, let's go ahead and start off. Uh, we're going to jump out to the Tweeterverse. <clears throat> hey, I like this. These guys are retweeting us. Uh, not much to go on to the Tweeterverse, but uh, let's go ahead. Uh, where are we? 18 hours ago? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Let's, do, let's go ahead and take care of that first. Exclamation, I love free shit. That's right. If you love free shit as much as we love giving away free shit, get on in on the action. Let's make that more move. We'll give away a lot more free shit. As we watch Jack sitting there perplexed going, I wish I could get off this phone call. I wish I can get off this phone call. I wish I could get off this phone call. <laughs> Look at him. All right, anyway. Uh, 18 hours ago, build looks good, but a bit late for a publish. I'll push it out first thing in the morning. Why is it a bit late for a publish? Just publish the damn thing. Never too late, never too early. We got people up 24-7 playing this game. You're going to bother somebody. Doesn't bother nobody. We just need to know that there's a publish and boom. Here Goku. Hello there, my dear. How are you? How are you? And of course, hello to everybody else out there. I see a bunch of you out there already. And I didn't even do an announcement in game, did I? Didn't even do an announcement in game, which I should probably do. Which we should probably do. I think I actually. Uh, copied it i just don't think i there we go i don't think i shouted it out which i'll do right now that's right stall give jack another couple seconds see if he can get off his call <laughs> stall tactics but yeah i don't know why we're not publishing it and of course uh, patch 1344 is now live with 50 plus fixes including some big ones Go grab it and check out the patch notes while you wait. Well, again, like I said, uh, I had a little complication, which is very rare, uh, see, seeing as if I use Steam to do my patching. And uh, there are a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of patches uh, to be talked about. So we'll get to that here. Let's get this up. Right, we're going to get it up. This jack is not off today. Jack's just uh, on another call at the moment, but having fun sitting there. <laughs> Jack listening in his other ear on, on the show at the same time? I don't think so, is he? No, he's not in the green room yet. Not in the green room yet. Tell, tell me about it, Icon. This slacking. Slacking. Let's let's talk about some other topics here, and then we'll 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 save patch notes for Jack here because we'll have some stuff to talk about there. But uh, let's let's talk about some stuff, Ekondis, because Ekondis uh, gave me the uh, title for today's tweets: "Not worth the squeeze." What? Not worth the squeeze. And I know he knows what I'm talking about. And at the well of Aldur, the well of Al, harvesting isn't worth it. So at the time to finally harvest some garlic, garlic, nonetheless, with a 13% chance and got five garlic. I was expecting like 25 for the trouble. Now, this is out in the new scene. Is this just something, uh, yeah, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. That's right, Um Is this uh, just... Random garlic that's sitting out. Uh... Hey, 
and it takes 30 seconds. Now you have full, I, I know I read and I will get to that. So let, let, let's get to this first because uh, I want to verify the numbers on this because that's pretty incredible um, numbers if these are actually correct. Uh, Cora comes back and says, but you probably got 15K experience. At least that's what they got off a of cotton node. Uh, though given the number of failures, you probably got it's likely still faster for the XP harvest uh, a bunch of 100% ones. And uh, what was your XP? Did we get, uh, did you get 15K for it? Did you verify that? So 15 or 20K per node, that's not too shabby. And then, then that's just up with a straight up. That's not with the crit and uh, what is the word I'm looking for? I got to look at the skill. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Harvesting. Forging. And that's with no uh, meticulous collection or anything like that. That's just a straight up 15 to 20K per node. That's not too shabby. <clears throat> um, that's, not too, that's not too shabby at all, but uh, I don't know the time involved. Was that every single node or was that just you, you took the time to stop and, uh, and that's another thing. I noticed that uh, when you're out doing uh, just regular mining and harvesting. Sometimes a node will take 10 seconds. Sometimes a node will take 20, 30 seconds. Uh, and then the meticulouses can be almost instantaneously at times as well. Um, I've never put any rhyme or reason as to how it actually worked myself. <clears throat> Tina, it's been my experience that uh, <clears throat> both for um, quantity of... Uh, harvest and experience is to do the mid to lower level tiers, especially when you're above GM, at GM or above GM. Yeah, doesn't he look good? He looks happy there. But, yeah, but he's, uh, yeah, he's doing his thing. <clears throat> is that, it, I don't it's know. It's never a good call until you realize the person fucking deleted seven patients from their system and they're asking you to recover them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice are you able to recover them no i don't have, i don't have that access i have to refer <laughs> to someone else recycle bin yeah uh, recycle yes. bin hey i i i am here what's up and jack I, how are you uh, uh i don't even think i'm going to launch my stream today so that way because it's one of those days it's one of those <laughs> days <laughs> oh, well, uh, welcome to today's show. Yeah. We were just talking about the well of Aldur, the well of Aldo. Uh, the, the, the well, is, yes. is, is the well doing well or does the well need more help? Well, that's what we're discussing. It se seems that the time invested is a little leash compared to what it should be, but the... So, what, what is this word, leash? Oh, uh, lacking. Uh, it's street, oh, street, okay, street, okay. street, 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 street term from back in the old days. Uh, yeah, you, you, yeah. You, 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 you I'm go old, up, but I'm not that old, man. You, you'd go up to the weed vendor and you get a leash nickel bag. It was it wasn't as good as you know the one you got yesterday. It's a little leash. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it's a little la lacking. Definitely lacking. Yeah. Uh, so so you you paid dime bag prices for for a bud that's it or whatever it is uh, yeah you, you just didn't get what you were you you expected to get yeah so you know you you got more before and now you're getting you know what you figured you were getting robbed of oh, in the end here, here, whatever here. and, and I, i'll help your chat real quick there boom i helped your chat become um, famous we are famous get out of here yeah. that's it thank you get out so, of here <laughs> So the the well of Alder not as difficult as uh, we we thought it was going to be. Um, no, he, he just uh, Ekondis had a uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A vision, an opinion, uh, just uh, an, an observation that harvesting was not worth it, but a time huh. spent and. Uh, He's, he had a 13% chance at 100 at the GM, and he got five garlic, but uh, he was expecting more yield. But he got 15 to 20K experience for the 
for the node with no meticulous collection. So is that worth yeah. the trade off? But uh, what what well, just the, what really so, got me was Econis's uh, second part of the chat. If you want to just jump to that and read it out loud, because I just love the way he described well, it. And well, it describes things scroll, perfectly. Yeah, I've got to scroll way up. Okay. Uh, yep, and it takes 30 seconds for just the wheel to spin. Uh, got garlic and cut, and also like 15 to 20,000 or so, but it's a 30 second timer and 13% chance to succeed. But right, you'll the next one, yeah, go to the know, next one from Uganda. But no, no medic. <laughs> No meticulous. No, no meticulous, but you'll average maybe two to three minutes and harvest like three things. Yeah. Well, I to me, the entire crafting pool idea for crafting XP needs a serious revamp. Um, well, again, if this is what is going to be the trend, in newer scenes, then I, I definitely like the way it's going, but then you've got to uh, compensate along the lines of the skill trees to allow people to get higher than that 120, 130, 140 and get up there to uh, get uh, actual reasonable yeah. chances. Okay. That's, that's and, where and, I was going and, with it. And you would actually have to uh, loot tables would have to be fixed to <laughs> reflect the difficulty of that. Well, resource that, harvest that too but uh i wanted i, I was on econis's second uh conversation when you joined us because he he had a really great quote there and i think that uh it describes a lot lot of the crafting system uh which is good point i did get a bunch of xp but the progress wheel moves so slow yes Combined with the low chances to get something, it's just not the worth, worth the time invested. The yeah. juice is definitely not worth the squeeze, in my honest opinion. And, uh, yeah. He says he stole that from Chris. He just tested on a cotton node, 30 seconds per attempt with a 16% chance. So, at GM... It's, it's, it's a whole waste of time. That, that's all I gotta say. Is it if you're an if you're out for experience? Yeah. You know, again, if well, you if you if you're out for the harvest, your best chance is to grow the cotton yourself, not harvest yeah. it from well, okay, from the so, wild. The only reason why you're harvesting from the wild really should be for the experience. No. In in that case, the best way to get that XP would be to take a low level <laughs> tune out there. Beetles, uh, yeah. Make, that beetles too. Make, okay, yes. Yeah, so I'll make, give you make, that one. Make Make sure that someone else can cover your ass and just double keep on double clicking that node and just rack in that, that XP. And make sure that you're not using a prosperity tool or something else that actually gives you an increased uh, harvesting per percentage. Um, well, yeah, okay. That was that was the old school method. <laughs> Well, a absolutely. I mean, but like at 15, 20 K a node, you just want someone to cover your ass while you just sit there and harvest. Um, right. Which, but, uh... which, which, which actually goes into the case. It, would that be considered an exploit? Hmm. Food for um, thought. Be because you're getting all this crafting XP during... Well, oh, whatever. You know, it's not it's well, not like, uh, you know, there, there's four whole trees in the mysterious forest, you know, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. How you, many you nodes the, the, are out the, there? The South Boundless Forest. South, South Boundless Forest. Yes. You know which one I meant. <laughs> four fucking trees. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's not like uh, you got you you got to be able to just sit there and camp camp uh, nodes either, you know. Uh, un unlike camp, I, again, depends on what the spawn is, but that's a, that's oh, a whole different yeah. world. Anyway, Econis, I just found it funny that uh, 
Yeah, he just found that the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. That that was just too, too funny for me. But uh, we we got to get to some patch notes. I already did the tweets for today, you, you, which you, point us to the patch notes. Yeah, and then from there, uh, so I, I will say that Elon Musk had a joke about uh, Cyberpunk 27, 2077. It has a patch, and then it has a hot fix for its patch. But <laughs> if we're going to make that comparison, we're what, on what, hot fix number three. What 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 for... did we what what did we ha have to hot fix in the patch on uh, Cyberpunk? I'm still I'm still on the fence with that one. I may just buy it just for shits and giggles, but uh... you, you know what? If you can run around and beat people with a fucking dildo you should go enjoy <laughs> cyberpunk because that is an actual option. Um, now, now I, I know there was a problem that people want, want everybody to stop having sex with Ken O'Reeves characters. Uh, that, that, character. that, that was a third party mod. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, but I mean, it's a single player game. It's like, who cares if someone's really exploiting? <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it, it is some, it, it's a fun fucking game. That's all I got to say. I mean, I, I've had a ton of fun playing cyberpunk. Uh, I, I started my second run through, uh, with a different build. Um, and I'm already thinking about deleting it and going back to the, I'm putting everything in intelligence and, uh, everything else just because I enjoy hacking shit in that game. Um. Well, and I thought, the, yeah, I thought that was part of the you know, allure of, you know, uh, there, there was just all sorts of shit you could do with it. But, uh, well, there, yeah, there's all, all, all kinds of different play styles. Um, you can like go brute force, you can go, um, uh, mod light. Um, I, but there, there is no option to actually run around without any mods, which, which I'm actually kind of disappointed on in, in that sense. But, Going back to Thank you for uh, hot fix, Fork. hot fix number three this month. <laughs> Build number thirteen forty four came out this morning at seven a.m. Laz had a problem where he was missing a file and actually had to repair his uh, entire. I did. Uh, I, I, th th install th on Steam. Th th thankfully, thankfully, Steam can verify and find that one missing file and go, boom, here you go. Yeah. Without having to do so, a full reinstall. One of the reasons why I stick with Steam, uh, just for yeah, anybody well, wants to know. To, yeah. to me, faster patches. Well, it, it, it was automatic patch. It was it was waiting yeah. for me when I got up. I didn't have to do anything. You know, I just had yeah. to start start the game. So and then got, you had got to, to enjoy that too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so fix for systemic deco bug that could send decorations bug. to the center of the house in rare occasions. Very common in the Lord of the Isle home, but was also happened in others more rarely. Fixed a data issue preventing a number of patterns and crafting items from being applied. Out in Brookside, they added an extra opportunity to unlock the compass marker for the town crier, crier when entering at the default entrance. Brookside, Brookside, yeah, Brookside. Hey man, you I, can go I, visit. I, 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 visit rem I remember that place. I, I remember that yeah. place from years ago. That, that it, fucking it, it, foggiest. Isn't, isn't that ever? the foggiest fucking place in the world that you can't even see what, five feet in front of you? It, and you yes. still got a vendor out there. I love that. I, and, and, and I sold some scrolls. Um, so the there was a new portrait added to the Envy Angel loot table. A new portrait? Out in the, yeah. Out in the Well of Alder, they added more opportunities to collect outerite fragments and clusters at the start of the scene. A new... So you, a new useless... More, well, mining, if you want to get a crap ton of XP for your mining, that right there at the start of the scene, free XP. Uh, yeah. Uh, updated LODs for shrines, all uniform now. Uh, the fi fix the collision for some rugs. 
out in the Solace Bridge outskirts, increase the quantity and frequency of maple wood and iron ore required for a quest. So those respawn Ooh. timers have been updated. So if you really need some quantity now, okay, I, I yeah, know. Uh, well, that's, like that's I, like I was point. saying right before you joined in, we were talking about the uh, harvesting and stuff like that, and I found the best yields and the best. Uh, experience was to go to the mid and lower levels, um, including the the newbie levels, the out, outskirts, because the outskirts really pop. But uh, up up updating those timers and upping those timers may make it even worth worth farming. Uh, I, I'll have to take a second pass around there uh, later on. Maybe, maybe, and take maybe. a look. Might Everybody's going to be wood. hanging out. Everyone's going to be farming in Solace. Yeah, Bridge. Get, 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 going to have like 500 people out there trying to harvest the wood now. <laughs> right? I, I, st this, I, st I still want the the uh, possibility of uh, the DDO uh, change. Like if there's multiple instances, you can change the instance. And, uh, and jo want... join a particular instance. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, then after that, uh, we do have the update for the outer wisp visuals. Yeah. Uh, then out in Mistrinder, they fixed an issue that prevented roving wolves from drawing players into the new Soe Tundra encounter. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, not, not again, yeah. as, uh, Anything on the new new lands haven't explored, not getting into it until it's all ready to be run. So I yeah. don't want to do it in pieces. Well, I mean, that would, that would imply that there's a bunch of new quests out there to do stuff that are story related, which there isn't. Uh, Splintering Strike will now grant an Earth Attunement bonus. Okay, so so how do you do splintering strike anyways? Good question. Uh, Let's see. What is splintering strike? Is it a combo? Uh yes. But uh glitch. Yeah, I was gonna say, never even heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh where is filter by school? Uh, my my combo's coming up. Uh, that's awesome. If you filter by school, you have everything selected. And by for the magic, you have Earth. The only one that's selected is, is quadruple slash. Oh, man. Fucking fantastic. Uh, and things that are actually kind of Earth-based are... There it is. Included. Okay, so... I, I would love a... Uh, um ability to sort these in some way yeah you can sort them by school yeah well i've got everything enabled but i don't see a splintering be, strike be, be nice to uh and that's only uh yeah that's only the available combos you have to go see all the other uh, ones oh, oh wait yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, maybe that that was my mistake. Hold on. Okay, shield smash, titan smash, quadruple sl splintering strike is Hulk crushing smash. blow in earth and stone fist. Um uh, yeah, so so it is actually earth and bludgeons. And now gives you what did it say? Splintering Shrike gives you Earth Attunement? Earth Attunement bonus. Okay. So, yeah. combos give you bonus. Yeah. Hey, I'm still waiting for that massive fix to uh, um, that useless skill in the Earth Tree. So that way you can use it during combat. You mean the Earth Tree? Yeah, uh, uh, the the one that's supposed to heal you. I didn't know there was a healing skill in the Earth Tree. 
Torpor. <laughs> Torpor. Torpor. Yeah. Torpor oh, there causes it is. the caster to become one with the earth. The caster will be unable to move, will act more slowly, uh, but will be more difficult to damage by physical attacks and emerge in a more healthy state. Yeah, fucking useless. Don't ever hit that in combat unless you want to die. Uh, fixed the three new scroll recipes. They should now properly work at a carpentry crafting station. Um, three new scroll recipes. Yeah. Uh, anybody? Yeah. For the bank rolled unrolled the decoration. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, I just had, hadn't seen any notes on new scrolls coming into the game. So, uh, yeah, okay. New That's decorations. Nice. Well, we read the patch notes. In the old patch notes, new scrolls. It came in with the update. Apparently, you didn't read them carefully enough. Actually, we didn't read the whole update. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I don't think we got past the shrine, the new shrines that uh, was in the update, truthfully. So <clears throat> I guess we need to read a little further. Yep. Anyway, moving right along. Yeah. Uh, then after that, the February reward should now be delivered. And if you look between Laz and myself on set, yes. you can see. Pretty uh, flowers. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Um, then after that, uh, out in Mistrinder, they fixed an issue that prevented roving barbarians from drawing players into the new Soe Tundra encounter. Hmm. That sounds like something that happened with wolves there just a minute ago. Yeah, it so so sounds just like <laughs> it. Out in Ardora, Sorrento once again has the proper responses for Samuel and Cardin. Holy shit. That, that's the main storyline quest. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> How long was the, that broken? I was going to say, do Samuel and Cardin actually show up when, when they're supposed to still? As, uh, I know that that was still a funky problem. Yeah. Um, then after that, the Well of Aldor, they fixed a typo in one of the scholars' responses. Uh, the recipe for the Shrine of Sorcery will now drop in Lord British's castle. All shrine recipes have been lowered in gold value. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guess someone found an exploit there. With yeah, the I, 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 it's exactly yeah, it's, sell, selling them off to the vendors. They're probably dropping so frequently. Somebody was making some buku cash off of those, so he had to drop the prices. Yeah. That's too funny. Oh, because, then because it wouldn't be fun to be able to kill stuff and make gold off of it. That you know, that just that just wouldn't be too fun. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and, and for the second time this patch notes release, uh, the Solace Bridge outskirts they added more tree and ore spawns near the camp. So because who the only... fuck uses the term bivouac? Who uses that term? Or do they refer to it as the camp? Uh, I think it's referred to as both. But only because I read it. I would never use that term anywhere else. Yeah. I'd be like, and, yeah, neither would I. Our camp yeah. is right there. I would yeah. never say, our bivouac is right over there. I mean, it, it's... The mass unit's over there. Yeah. Hey. Uh, but yeah. Sit, sit your ass down over there. There you go. Yeah. Is out there. Also out in uh, Solace Bridge outskirts, they reset the Lady Langston back to her correct NPC model. Improved quest-related compass markers added a very small chance that most bandits and zombies will drop a piece of ore, a piece of maple wood, or a feather. Sounds like we're going to be camping out at Tolis Bridge outskirts of Condis. Damn skippy. <laughs> a camp that isn't. There you go. There you go. A, sh a sh show about nothing. A camp that's not a camp. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, he caught this. Not not only was the or the spawn rate turned up, but we've added new spawns on top of that. So we've and, multiplied the spawns and, and turned loot. up the spawn rate. And, and loot. And, and loot. loot. Uh, yeah. Are we actually getting? Are we actually getting loot that doesn't suck? We'll find out. We'll report back to you on this. Yeah. Yeah. If we had time, this would be a camp. Since we, but but they've set up guards. They've set up uh, other things to uh, surround it. Um, make, it's make a, a natural perimeter. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. and, and there's tents. So and it never moves. It's always there. So it's a fucking camp. Um, absolutely. Uh, th yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, another thing is they updated some quest text for Kinsey and Preston. Also, Edward no longer gives out the task entitled investigate the undead mystery. Edward, 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 Edward. Everybody uh, they, they, knows who Edward is, right? No, they don't. No one knows that that that's actually Tracy Hickman's character. Edward. Yeah. Yeah, and my 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 stabby stab spot from yesterday is a little sore. I bet. Um, at least now the the pain's not like radiating like to my back, uh, which which happened last night. I got shot number one yesterday. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. So good luck getting it. Um. Uh. Shot uh, now, two. now, now to see if you can get shot number two. There's, there's the real, real kicker. <laughs> well, shot two is already scheduled for uh, uh, twenty days from now. Oh, okay, very cool. Yes. Um, now, now they're not screwing up in Texas like they did in some other states and using all the supplies to give everybody a single shot and leaving nobody with a second shot. Yeah. Well, that that was hoping that they would receive more shots. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I, I know uh, here. I know here in Florida, they received you know, uh, whatever their allotment was, and uh, everybody got their first shot, and the second shot was held in, in reserve, so that they had everybody's second shot, so they didn't get screwed. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Hey, man, I I, I just want to know why Texas is doing the stupidest thing ever, and like doing with distribution centers. They're they're, they're, they're that, all that, doing that it stupid. That, <laughs> that that don't have access to your medical records, yeah. so they really can't prioritize you, you, one you, person you, over you, another. You, you you in Texas, like here in Florida, have a drugstore, a supermarket that that gives flu and all sorts of other shots all year long. Well, yeah, right. why why don't yeah. they just use those existing yeah you know, uh, supply chains and just do it like they do everything else? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I know, I know. And, and, and if it's going to be a free for all, you might as well just like set up the National Guard and say line up and just like go through, stab, 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 and get the fuck out of here. Okay, but uh, back e to this. That's not true because most of these places that are giving out vaccines have to have the freezers for all sorts of other stuff. Any any pharmacy worth its weight of being a pharmacy has has a deep freezer to do that stuff. So, um, and down here, it's just about all of them. <laughs> they're not big yeah you know, they, they ain't gotta be walk-in freezers they just gotta be enough to hold you know a couple dozen vials you know but anyway yes i know i know what it, it is you know is that could also be held in uh what is it liquid nitrogen 300 bits longer from bridge that, troll uh then uh fix some destructible crates in barrels that would end up floating when destroyed in the gray mark forest they fixed the spindle scog stuck spot. Added two chair sets to the store. Fixed an issue with the recently added section. Not showing the release 86 items. Objects, uh, including rectangular rug, can now be placed correctly on the floor of the storefront nice. greenhouse four-story home. Out in the Kingsport sewers, prisoners Martin and Judith can no longer be attacked. Aw. Uh, damn. Out in Mistrinder, <laughs> fixed a portion of terrain that was poking through a mountain. Uh, turned back on the point light and visual effects for obsidian street lamps. 
And Bridge Troll got the game, Barbie's Wild Night. Um, oh, man. I, I did buy something that's not 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 safe for work for for fun stuff when the run, <sighs> run is over. I got some of those uh bouncy things. <laughs> bouncy things. Yeah, it's like, kinda like a yoga ball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kinda like a yoga ball. Uh but not yoga but, balls. But not yoga balls. <laughs> uh, and and uh, for that three dollar donation, uh, three hundred bits, uh, ET's yeah. got himself a copy of The Keep on Steam, fourteen ninety nine. Thank you for your support. And he also says somebody else has got to toss in a dollar to kick off a game of marbles. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, you, you ready you. for some marbles? No, no, he says somebody else has got to kick off a dollar. We're a dollar uh, shy. A do 100 bits shy? 100 so bits added shy. Added collision to the deco version of Sutax Bluster so it can be moved as a decoration. I don't even know what Sutax Bluster is. I don't know. Yeah. No. Out now Owl's head, Trauma Thomas Strongbeard should respond properly when the player shared their name. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. fi fixed weight <laughs> of the new water lily decorations. Each type now weighs one pound. Each uh, type now weighs one pound. Yeah. And thank you, Sentinel. And uh, that, that'll trigger a game of marbles and a raffle. And we'll come back to this uh, last few uh, updates here in a minute. But I do got to remind everybody, Sentinel gets the call out of track. We got the season 21 up in the shop, which means there's probably a new track. I see 57. I don't see a new track, though. Oh, uh, uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But Sentinel, give us the track number. Track number 13. Ooh, 13. Okay. Okay. Uh, Pixels I'm, Raceway I'm not, 2. I'm not work, looking at anything, but I because... am going to do exclamation mark play. So you can play whenever you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me know when you're ready to. All play. right. Everybody, go ahead and try. You don't have a stream going today. So you, everybody can get good in. Exclamation play. Exclamation. I love free shit. The countdown has already started, and we're going to be doing Pixels Raceway 2 right here on stream. Thanks to you guys and gals. I think it was mostly you guys today. Thanks to uh, Weldo and Bridge Troll and Sentinel. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. Coming up on 30 seconds. And the weird thing is there's not a special yet. I decided to go look on the my 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 Streamlabs Marbles on Stream app to see if there was a, a new pack out. There is not. <laughs> Did you read that, Jack? Did I read what? <laughs> we're we're being talked about in universe chat. It's propaganda. For oh, talk for talk for talking about Ooh. the vaccine. <laughs> Laz is Laz isn't going to get the uh the vaccine. I have no need. I never leave the house. <laughs> but your mom does. Yeah, and she can't get it either. And she she's in the age group to get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah not worried about it. Really not worried about it. The math the math. Anyway, here we go. Sorry, we got distracted from uh, the race. Sentinel's in the lead. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Uh. Sentinel, that sucks. Uh. Okay. Sentinel hung up. Cynicist and Yaz coming up behind them. Rest of the oh. pack. Yaz rolls on through. <laughs> Econdus, I want something like that just here for, comes mom uh, certain people 
Um, I, I would love to see that in use in real life. Um, yep. Let's see if mom can make up some space there. She she almost caught up, but Yaz keeps dodging those obstacles as we go on down. This is where it gets interesting. Is Yaz going to just keep not breaking any of the tires and rolling around them? Looks that way. Let's see if he smashes tires this time around or whether he goes right through. Yeah, no smash. No. But Who mom, here comes mom <laughs> and steals it for the win. I had a funny feeling something like that was gonna happen. Who who won? Mom. Mom. Mom, mom come flying in from behind. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Congrats to mom. Getting herself some scrolls right here on stream. Let's get those out to her. Oh, somebody bought a horsey. Congratulations Yay. to Crescent, our newest horsey owner out there. Okay. All righty. Let's uh, clear that out. Get to the menu. Uh, let's see. Let's go to sheets.google.com. Heck, but we got to go ahead and uh, pick a winner. Pick ourselves a winner as we load back into everything real quick here. Give us a moment. Yeah, as I knew that, uh, I I I got to clear that track and. Uh, I was waiting for it, waiting for it. I said, oh, let me change the scene. And I knew I shouldn't have changed the scene while I was waiting for marbles to uh, clear. So uh, shit happens. It's, uh... <clears throat> oh, okay. Sorry. Hmm. That's right. Last place, press your luck. And where did Jack go? Smoking a cigarette. I told him I was here. He probably didn't hear me. <laughs> Oh, I think have it your... take you longer to boot up, man. No, man, I, I I got less than a minute reboot from scratch, man. It don't take long to get back here. But oh, I, what actually power, takes the man. longest is get getting the games back up. That's what takes longest. My machine boots like ain't nobody's business. Well, I think I think mine takes forever to boot because of the my USB hard drive that's spinny. Oh, yuck. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I use it for backing up some stuff. It's like four terabytes. I know. That's what I, I really that's, that's what I got an ass for, man. It's just, everything goes to the NAS. It's on, it's on the network. At a, yeah. at a gigabit, you know. No speed problems. Anyway, let's go ahead and close out that giveaway. Going to pick ourselves a winner. And our winner is Astralasa. Astralasa, congratulations. And we'll see what you won here in just a moment. As soon as I get control of my mouse back. Yep. That shot of the avatar is eating up my memory on its oh. on its load. <laughs> All right, let's see what Astralasa has got a copy of. They got themselves a copy of Heavy Burger. Heavy burger on Steam. And heavy burger. $7.99 on Steam for Astralasa. So congratulations. We'll get that right out to you as we're loading back into the game. But meanwhile, we can get back to the uh, rest of the patch notes. The rest uh, of the patch notes. Alton Superstition Canyon and Tartar Sauce. Tartar Mimics sauce. were updated to help ensure they properly trigger when interacted with. Yeah. And they added, fixed, or improved nine. Nine. Times, times five. Common to epic uh, artifact. Related artifact and nine shrine tooltip descriptions. 
Um, yeah. Um, so added collision to the deco version of Vexlin Spark so it can be moved as a decoration. Uh, performance of Lord British's castle should be much improved. Uh, I'm Being still waiting for some... jammed into a small space. Let me know if anyone is ever going to ask this of Chris during one of his streams. When Chris runs his scene profiler, is he profiling scenes at 30 FPS, 60 FPS, or 90 FPS? Hmm. Good question. And, Giveaway and, is open. And that that is one where it's like if you really start looking at it, the 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 more FPS, the the better optimized, the better the game runs. I will say that um uh I actually did time it how long it takes me to load into um uh Cyberpunk 2077 um from from the, the start splash screen to the actual game it took me 17 seconds 17 seconds but it's, it's not an online game uh, uh you said it, it's a it, single it, player it, game it, it also loads a fuck ton more shit than uh shroud does yeah. <laughs> and i mean a fuck ton more shit uh and and it runs faster um then we have, hey, my mouse that doesn't want to cooperate. Uh, Not a whole lot of time. Uh, yeah, updates to make repost opportunity strike and etheric feedback easier to make work properly. Uh, Meridian become what became one of the first Terraopolis. Terraopolis. Uh, yeah, Terraopolis. Um, Adobe stables can now be decorated on most surfaces. The nice. wooden outhouse can now be decorated on select surfaces. Even nicer. Even nicer. Yeah, we, we can we can hide those uh hang things in our our outhouses now. And we we know uh, we can put posters on them or flyers on them, but uh, yeah. Now now we can actually put deco on them. So now we can put like Christmas wreaths and hang stockings in the shitter and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah something <laughs> like that. Add some lights into the shitter. Um, the Northwest Blackblade Mountains etheric aether creatures are now dormant. Uh, guest book five, the guest book was fixed, so players can now collect this randomly appearing book. Uh, the Well of Alder, another fixed, an issue where a fragile plaque was unable to be interacted with. And out in the Elysium Mines, blocked a secret door that isn't meant to be functional. I didn't know there was a secret door that was functional out in Elysium. Um, it was right there. <laughs> yes, you now can now hang there. toilet paper. There you go. Tell him a night owl. That's right. <laughs> I, I I think Godzilla Opolis should also be an option out there. Godzilla Opolis. <laughs> anyway, we're running tight on time, so we're gonna jump on over to the NBNN Tragedy Avatar Community Calendar hosted on nbnn.info and brought to us by Torque.rocks. We'll tell you more about that here in just a minute. Okay. That NBNN Tragedy the Avatar Community Calendar is an aggregate of all of the available Google Public Calendars related to Shroud that that guy knows about. If you have a Google Public Calendar related to Shroud and you want it hooked up, you need to email that guy news at nbnn.info so he can do something with it eventually all times on the community calendar are central time in the real world but we prefer to refer to it as nude britannia time nude britannia time yep all times on the community calendar are central time in the real world but uh, yeah i already said that part uh monday through friday 12s and 6s around the clock tune in your ether amplifiers so that way you can watch the technical difficulties in action on a little show called lunch with us um 7 p.m this evening on wrfb is the 70s at seven and that is followed at 10 p.m by the wicked womb with waz's wad where he covers some walk and wall history from 1946 <clears throat> to 1974 that's and right that is our that is our community calendar for 
Yeah. Don't forget, you're tuned in to Lunch with Laz and Jack right here on NBNN.info, twitch.tv slash Genesis. Not today, twitch.tv slash NBNN News when we're not crashing, catching us in replays, and of course, on the radio throughout the day. Thanks for however it is you tune in. We do appreciate it keeping us here six plus years with the latest news and information from Shroud of the Avatar. Controversial or not, tough. <laughs> It'll be something. The VMC wants you to go check out Black Rock Cove out in the Quell region. Go check them out for guild pricing across the board. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you the latest news and entertainment 24-7. Shroudmusic.com for your ABC file needs. Caffius is where for all your wood goods out there on Shroud Marketplace. And, of course, a newest sponsor, Torque. He's a German Shroud of the Avatar player on Twitch. And with the link Torque.rocks, it'll bring you directly to his Twitch channel. Give him a follow. He's a nice soda streamer, and he would, it would make him very happy if you go join him. Uh, of course, he hosted us here earlier today, so thank you, Torque. He also has giveaways on his stream. You can win in-game gold, kodos, and random Steam keys just like you can win here on our stream as well. So go check out Torque.Rock today and go check out his stream. Always something interesting. And of course, last but not least, our favorite and our place where we sell all of our goods, ShroudMarketplace.com, the place to go for all your virtual vendable goods outside of Shroud of the Avatar for inside Shroud of the Avatar at the Marketplace because everything and everything is available oh, out at Shroud absolutely. Marketplace. Absolutely. Anything, everything, uh, Shroud Marketplace, as long as it's not a bannable offense, you can buy it or sell it at Shroud Marketplace from accounts to game gold all the way to services. Remember, as long as it's not a bannable offense, you can buy it from one of over 200 different players registered as vendors. Now, in order to buy things, you do need to register, register an account. And from there, um, then you can buy everything. Um, buy but it, all the goods. That's right. Buy, buy <laughs> it all the goods. All. Uh, anything and everything. Um, anything. It's a beautiful thing. I know. <laughs> uh. All right, but we got to wrap things up here because it's about that time of the day where we got to go ahead and say Sorry. goodbye to everybody. I got distracted by work. Uh -huh. uh, reg register if you want to sell, sell your stuff, click on vendor registration, and it is that time for us to get out of here. Ooh. That's right. Got to roll those credits and say thank you to a couple people today. Of course, I already know who those people are, but we'll roll those wonderful credits. Got to say thank you to Waldo. Thank you to Bridge Troll. Thank you to Sentinel for the bits today. And of course, thank you all for tuning in and joining us right here on NBNN. We're going to go ahead and close out this last giveaway here on today's show. Oh, yeah, it doesn't show because we had to restart the stream, so it doesn't have those people. So, oopsie. But we're going to close you. the giveaway out. We're going to pick ourselves a wiener. And Gray Fox Soda, Gray Fox Soda, congratulations. You are the winner. And let's see what he's got. He's got a copy of Leechdom Battle Mage. Leechdom Battle Mage. And we're going to take a quick look and see what that's all about. $9.99 on Steam. Congratulations. Gray Fox Soda will get that out to you here shortly after the stream ends. But we'll be back with more right here on NBNN tomorrow. Till then. I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.